Okay, hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have finally received the official trailer for Horses in the Sims 4. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys heard me right. We now have apparently horses coming for The Sims 4. But let's go ahead and check out this video and then we will get into it after that. After that, people, because we got we we got some something to get into here. All right, let's go ahead and play the trailer. It's two minutes. Two minutes, uh, 25 seconds. And hopefully my volume is not too loud. I know they play music the whole time. So let's go. All right, so there it is, guys. We finally have the official trailer. And uh, I think it looks good. I mean, it's The Sims 4, so it looks like all the other trailers. EA has always been very good at making trailers. Um, the trailer looks really good. It looks like something you'd want to play with. Now, whether or not once we get it, if it's good we'll have to wait and see um seeing as it is an expansion pack and instead of a game pack uh you just kind of expect more from it so we'll have to wait and see if there's a whole lot more underneath you know when it comes to the gameplay ea is not the greatest when it comes to the gameplay they're really great at making beautiful worlds. They're really great at making very nice clothing. Uh, they're good at giving you tools on how to build and how to make characters. Uh, but beyond that, uh, they kind of fall short. And if you're the type of person where that is all you care about is a pretty world, nice clothes, you can make a sim that looks like you and your friends. 
And that's pretty much all you really care about. You know, you got the tools that you need to maybe make whatever you imagine. Perfect machinima tool. I have grown to realize that the Sims 4 is the perfect machinima tool. What is machinima? For those that don't know, is people who just make videos. So you may have somebody who simply makes um, their own movies or... You know, yeah, basically a little movie and they use The Sims as the tool to do that. Then The Sims 4 is perfect for that player. If you're someone like me, however, who wants to just make a great character, put them in a great house and great world, and then sit back and watch what simulation, AI simulation can occur, The Sims 4 falls short for me 100% of the time. Um, the Sims 2 and The Sims 3 did it better for me, but when it comes to this particular trailer, when it comes to knowing that The Sims 4 game is what it is, we've had it almost 10 years now, then right now looking at the trailer, also knowing that EA is very good at making trailers, I think this trailer looks really good, but they are always good at making trailers, so... Let's quickly break down what we see. I don't want to stream for too long. 10 minutes is as far as I wish to go. I'll talk about this video more later. But I like that you can uh, make a lot of different style horses. I'm enjoying uh, that they are making nectar or I guess we're calling it nectar, right? I mean... It, it used to be wine in The Sims 3. I don't know if the characters are going to have a side effect if you drink too much of it. It probably doesn't do that uh, because it's The Sims 4 and they have decided that the game targets children more than it targets those that used to play the game. Because all of us are adults now, the ones that played Sims 1, 2, and 3, I believe, you know, when that all came out, we're all adults now. Wife, Mom, Simmer, hi. Good to see you. We got the trailer. We got the. We finally got the trailer. I'm happy to see it. Uh, I was not uh, um, too excited about horses because I still have bad flashbacks of horses being on lots that were too small for them and being in locations that that they shouldn't be in. So I'm hoping that they they thought about that this time and that horses basically stay in the map that they were made for unless the player takes a horse to Del Sol Valley. I don't want to see a horse in any other world unless I as the player take that horse there. So I hope they thought about that. Um, otherwise I'm not buying the pack. I can honestly say that would be a deal breaker for me. So I'm going to need um, to see people buy the game, play the game, prove to me that horses cannot come into any other world. I don't want it to be, you know, like, um, you know, I don't know. Because <laughs> honestly, I don't mind if I have a horse in... Uh, the cottage living world because those maps are huge and you know it makes sense that a neighbor might have a horse but let me as the player bring that horse there otherwise no I don't want these horses leaving this particular neighborhood this world so let's hope that's gonna be the case also I noticed um, my friend you were correct we do have a new dance style. I'm very happy to see that you were correct. I was hoping that you were correct. Um, so it looks like they can do line dancing now. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, I like that we have the little baby horses here that you can give a bottle to. I was hoping that would be in there. I also appreciate that when they make the wine, at least on the trailer, they are barefoot because I noticed in one of the leaked images, there was a male, a guy, making wine and he was still wearing 
his boots. And I'm sorry, but that was a major turnoff for me. I know it's just a game. But the idea that he had his dirty pants and dirty boots after walking around a farm or ranch with cow manure. Lord, I saw those boots in there and I was done. <laughs> I'll never drink that wine. <laughs> but at least on the commercial, it shows the ladies in the house making the wine and they are barefoot. I think it still would have been nice if the game rolled up your pants. But, you know. Dress your Sims appropriately. That's all I can say. Um, this here, where you get the free digital stuff, eh, whatever. I, I, I don't. I think they could have done better by offering. Um, I don't know. Make it worthwhile. You know, like if uh, you don't get. I don't know. Nah, people would just get mad if you made it to where you had to buy it early. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't really care too much about that stuff. The uh, extra stuff you get for ordering early. And we all know I'm getting my game right when it comes out. I mean, after I find out for sure that the horses will stay in their world. And then the baby goats here are adorable. Naturally. I'm going to need my eyes to be updated because my custom eyes look better than EA's eyes for the animals, but that's okay. Is the hand shaking new? I'm going to have to pay attention and see what you mean. Because I know they have different hand shaking depending on uh, what um, club you are in. If you have, uh, you know, get together, they have different hand shakes. So, I don't know. Let me look and see. I know you can shake hands, obviously, even without this pack. So, let me look and see what you mean. No, that's no, they just shook hands, it looks like. Unless you're talking about a different handshake. The one I just saw just now is just, yeah, you can shake hands in the game, I believe. No, I know for 100% you can handshake. Um, but, yeah, we get to uh, get together. The different clubs have different types of handshakes. So, I'm not sure if you're seeing a different type of handshake. The one I just saw... Just look like a typical handshake. That's not not new. Um, let me see what else. I like that grill. Not gonna lie. I know the animations are no different. It's just a new skin. That's fine. New mesh. I like uh, that they at least can do horse training outside of that rabbit hole barn. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a rabbit hole. It was a rabbit hole in Sims 3. I don't know what's going on with this ghost. It looks like it must have been uh, an, a ghost brought back. So I don't know if that's new gameplay they added. Uh, right now to bring back a ghost, you have to give them ambrosia. Uh, what's another way you can bring back a ghost? You might be able to bring back a ghost with the wishing well. Um... And then I think there's a way you can bring back the ghost if you wrote a book. I forget what it's called, but you had to have real high writing skills. So there's several different ways to bring back a, a ghost. I don't know if this pack is going to give us a, another way to bring back a ghost. We'll have to see. Um, Let's see. So cute, the little baby animals. Apparently, we are only getting um, adults and baby horses. As far as the goats and the sheep, um, they only come as one age group is what I've heard. So, there's that. Hopefully, that doesn't upset anybody. I'm not upset about it. Oh, I love how he just rammed her. That was cute. Um, okay. We got whole apples, but we already have apple trees. So now you have a reason to have apples. A. Hey, you can save them for your horses. All right. Just looking to see. I like that horse. I like that horse saddle too. Uh, we get a better, closer look at the saddle. I hope there's a bunch of different types of saddles. I think I saw a girl with a pink saddle or uh, look here's the dancing looks very cool and then here's the um 
the wine. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I don't mind the rabbit hole either. I expect that they would have to go into there. It's probably just for competitions. Um, but yeah, so that's the trailer. Yeah, I see the girl here in the pink. I think she uh, might have had a horse that matched her outfit. Not saying she had a pink horse. I'm just saying I think her saddle and stuff matched. Yeah, I see it there in the front. All right, so we're going to jump over to the... Um, they have uh, on EA's website, they have it to where you can... see their website all right so here we go forgive me I got a new monitor and it's not set up properly to where my mouse goes the direction I want it to so I apologize if I'm a little slower here but this is the web uh, blog I should say that EA posted I get I don't know if this is the blog no it looks like it's just the advertisement so it looks like uh, it is titled just like the leak said the horse ranch expansion pack coming July 20. So what's that about a month from now? Early player incentive you can see here. I, I'm definitely going to get it before August 31st so I'm not worried about that. I don't think it adds any new gameplay though. Um, it's just a rocking chair and a guitar. I would have liked if they would have added a new instrument. Now I don't know if this guitar sounds any different. That would be nice too. But it probably doesn't. Um, so I don't know. Maybe a, 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 a harmonica. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I just want new instruments in the game. So we already have a violin. Does a fiddle sound different than a violin? I would have I would have definitely taken a fiddle if it's different than a violin. Uh, because we have enough guitars. We've had a guitar for 10 years. It came with the bass game. Would have been nice to have new animations, new sounds from a new instrument. And I think fiddles and harmonicas, maybe a banjo. Um, you know, there's some instruments that go hand in hand with, you know, farms or Western movies or what have you, you know, a banjo, a fiddle, a harmonica, even hell, sorry, excuse my French, but spoons. I've seen on movies where they clap the two spoons together on their leg or whatever, just new animations, new sounds, new musical instruments, you know would have been nice but you know it, it, it's EA they're gonna do what's easiest for them why why uh, recreate something when they can just keep using the same things they've had since the base game 10 years ago you know your money obviously paid for new clothes new world um, you do get a new pet you get a horse now this animation I keep seeing with the goat hugging, I'm just starting to realize that's no different than the dog animation. So they basically perfected a dog when they made these little goats and sheeps. You know, people probably complained that making a dog look like a goat and a sheep is not good enough. But anywho, let me not go negative Nancy. Let's stick with what we are doing. We are we are in the happy zone. So it says make a new life. Get up early in the morning. Look out the look out at the big open countryside and know that all your work is worth it. Spend your days keeping your animals happy and clean. That's work, y'all. That's work. <laughs> Keep spend your days keeping your animals happy and clean. All right, get ready to work harvesting prairie grass to feed them so more work uh, collecting horse manure more work <laughs> to fertilize your plants more work 
and making your own nectar more work to sell more work so if you want it work you got work coming <laughs> do it all on a ranch you design whether that means a traditional cabin or a big red barn and one thing I do appreciate about getting new expansion packs or new kits is it really puts a fuel under the uh, imagination of our simmers and we will get a ton of new wonderful locations um, lots community lots and residential lots to download from the gallery so look forward to new ranches um, new cabins new red barns and even modern barns you're gonna see it all you're gonna see it all bond with animals Fill your ranch with animal friends and carve out a life together. Your horses, including adorable fowls or foals. I always say it wrong. I apologize. I am very happy that we get the little baby horses too. That makes me want to play it because I'm going to want to continue to mix my horses to see what they create. So that's going to be fun. And I hope you can sell your horses. Um online maybe like Etsy I don't know if you can but it would be nice for you to be an entrepreneur your character your sim to be an entrepreneur and maybe they even grade the horse you know you you get more money based on the quality of the horse that you made that would be wonderful and I would definitely be trying that as my first round at gameplay when I get the pack is to do that as a business if I could uh, let's see now that it looks like the horses are part of your household and have lots of special interactions with both your sims and with other horses so I will enjoy watching the animals interact with each other that's gonna be very cool it is a quick fast warning however all y'all who like playing with those large families we still only are only allowed up to eight characters per household. And now if you have a dog, you have a cat, you have a horse, you have an infant, you got two parents, that leaves, what's that, six? That leaves two more slots. So you cannot have more than three children in your house if you want a dog, a cat, a horse. You can only have three kids unless you kick your man out. With all this work coming, I would not suggest doing such. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Just making jokes. But yeah, the household is still up to eight. And now horses are going to take up a slot. So if you wanted more than one horse or you wanted to be able to have a baby horse as well, that's three spots right there. Mama horse, daddy horse, baby horse. That's three slots gone right there. Get rid of your idea of having a huge, big family. Your animals are going to count as family too. So good luck with that one. For myself, I don't like playing with a lot of characters because I just get stressed. So I am not upset at all that they have become a part of the household. Um, I don't like to play with more than three or four characters anyway. I think four is too many. Truth be told, I think three is too many, but I do like having my little baby. So <laughs> uh, let's see. You can care for many goats and many sheep and invite your neighbors to come and see how cute they are. Now, when it says you can care for many goats and many sheep, I don't know how this is going to work because we have country cottage or cottage living or whatever and the cows and the llamas and the chickens you can care for them too but they're attached to a, an object they don't get to roam the farm unless EA change something so I don't know how these little baby goats or mini goats and mini sheep are roaming freely unless like I said they basically use the same code and they are no different than purchasing a dog or a cat or adopting a dog or a cat they just went into coding and did better with the sounds and things like that anyway I think that's basically how they're free 
is it's no different than buying or purchasing or good lord adopting a cat or a dog i bet they'll run the same way yes they probably will we'll see it is an expansion pack so i would hope that ea put in a lot of energy and time into perfecting the animals the goat the sheep the horses and also that there's some a lot of not some a lot of cross compatibility with uh the cottage living pack because we already know people are already going to plan to put those packs together it's a farm you got to have a cow and a chicken you know you got to have you know i mean where's the pig ea i would have loved to have a little baby pig as a pet but anyway let's not go there uh, let's see. We have joined a thriving community. Um, that's kind of clipping. Y'all might need to edit that G in the word thriving. Who did that? Anyway, uh, let's see. Living on a ranch has its moments of peace and solitude, but there's also a lively scene, social scene. Is there? How's it lively? You do tell. Your Sims can go into town to meet friends at the bar. All right, that's no different than base game. Um, blow off steam at the dance hall. Okay, so that sounds like a new location. There's a comma between bar, okay, and then dance hall. So we might be getting a new lot tag. Okay, we might be getting a new uh, lot tag. It's not just a bar. There's also something called a dance hall. So let me read that again. Your Sims can go into town to meet friends at the bar. They can blow off steam at the dance hall. So that's a different place. Or train at the equestrian park. So that too is a new lot type. So dance hall might be a new lot type. And... Equestrian Park is a new lot type, I'm sure. That Equestrian Park, uh, you can tell on the commercial that it's going to be a rabbit hole. But there are things that you can set up outside that you can still interact with. Now, I'm not sure if that's a new lot. There was a leak yesterday and somebody said that it actually is in the open world, this Equestrian Park. So it might be similar to if you got the high school pack and you want to go to that uh, pier where the carnival rides are. That is part of the open world. It is not a lot. You don't have to load into it. So this might be the same way, at least based on what was leaked yesterday. That you can go to the equestrian park without loading into a screen. All right, but it's still a rabbit hole, that equestrian building, just like the amusement park rides and the high school pack. Those are rabbit holes. So uh, let's see. They can also host events like cookouts and dance on their own property. So and dances on their own property. So this might be uh, added to the um, social calendar you know that you can go into to schedule an event we already had cookouts i don't know why ea wrote that in there it's not new uh we got cookouts uh was that with the high school pack no 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 we got cookouts with the the latest family pack all right somebody tell me what what i can't even think what the last pack was uh growing together growing together we got cookouts with growing together. So, unless they're calling that family reunion and cookout is something different. Y'all, you know, I don't know. But it sounds like, I mean, for them to write it makes me feel like it must be something new. However, them saying you can meet new town people at the bar, that's not new. And we all can confirm that that, that has been in the game since base game. So, it's possible them saying cookouts is not new either. Anyway, the whole dance on their own property, that is new, possibly. I mean, you could probably put a, a dance floor down if you have get together, turn on the radio, and you already could do dances on your own property. It's in build mode. 
But we shall see. I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> I can appreciate two new lot types. Possibly. I, I want to. I want to preface that. Well, I don't know about preface if I'm using that word correctly. I want to point out that there may not be two new lots. That Oh, you mean the dance hall and the equestrian park? Yes. Those two sound like two new lots. But the two new events, I don't know if they're new. The cookout doesn't sound new, but I could be wrong. Uh, and then the last thing we have on here is hire a ranch hand. To help work, help when work builds up. So this would be similar to hiring um, a butler, hiring a maid, hiring um, uh, a gardener. They just come and help out with certain objects in the house. In this case, it would be all the things that come with this pack. Now, if there's cross compatibility on this part, so that they also help out with the cow the llama, and the chickens, if you own those packs, then I am very happy to see the ranch hand. I also hope that it can be a job for, you know, a new job for characters, for your, for your sim. Maybe it's a new job, uh, but it may not be. It may just be something you can, someone you can hire because we can't be a maid. We cannot be a butler. Um, we cannot be a gardener, not, not for hire anyway. So there you go. We'll have to see. Raise horses. This is where I was talking about. This is probably a rabbit hole right here, except for the action items that are placed out front. Horses are part of the family. Customize their, uh, hooved, customized hooved friends in Customize, yes, okay, your girl cannot read. Hold on. Customize hooved friends in cast or get a new horse by rescuing or purchasing them. Okay, so basically you can adopt them. Um, I wonder if you can find them in this world. Please make sure that it's only this world. But if you can walk up to a wild horse just like you can, a stray cat or stray dog and make friends with them and then rescue them that way. I don't know if you want to call that rescuing. I mean, I was wild and free yesterday and now I'm stuck on your property. I don't know if that's considered rescuing. <laughs> Some of us might look at that a little different. <laughs> um, let's see. Sims can learn the riding skill and horses can train in the agility and jumping skills. Okay, okay. Skilled horses and riders can even win awards at the equestrian center. All of that I'm happy with. All of that I'm happy with. Um, the only thing I just came to my mind, because I'm comparing a lot of this to having a dog in the game, a cat or dog, okay. I mean, granted, all of this came with pets in The Sims 3, but we won't go there. Um, this last part where it says skilled horses and riders can even win awards at the equestrian center. Can our dogs enter contests? Because we can train dogs too. We have the same training equipment, just like these horses are about to be given training equipment. Being able to train a dog is actually a skill for the human sim. And they're doing it again here, whereas the human sim can learn writing skills. So if you learn your writing skills and you go and adopt another horse and you train it up and it can enter a contest, can dogs Inner contest? I mean, I don't think I've ever trained my dogs in The Sims 4 on the agility stuff that we got with pet, what we got with cats and dogs. So somebody let me know in the comments, you know, if if our dogs can earn, you know, awards. If we put, do they have shows that they can enter? Because I don't remember that being announced or a part of the gameplay. Maybe I just didn't know. 
I don't know. Somebody let me know. All right, let's see. What else? Are we done here? Do we have a blog? Where do we get the blog information? All right, let's see. Saddle up. Invite your neighbor over as we welcome horses. Oh, shoot, y'all. We got more to read. Hello, let's go. Saddle up with the Sims 4 Horse Ranch Expansion Pack. Invite your neighbor uh, ranchers over as, a wel as we welcome horses. Okay, so these are the images we already saw yesterday. There is no better feeling than coming home to your very own stretch of land. Say it again. <laughs> your very own stretch of land inspired by the great American West. <clears throat> Players can explore the rustic locale and curate their ideal ranch life, whether that be a barn full of animal friends or a relaxing cabin on the prairie. Prairie. Each moment is sure to feel authentic and meaningful. All right. So the Horse Ranch Expansion Pack. Players will have the opportunity to raise, train, and form special bonds with majestic horses and fall in love with adorable mini goats and mini sheep. You can saddle up and meander into town. I hope I said that right. Meander into town to learn all about country living with the locals. Now that statement right there tells me that you can leave your house and go down the street or the road in this case, to a bar. All right, y'all, y'all better keep these horses in this town. That's all I gotta say. No mosey, now mosey on over to your rocking chair and get ready for a story that's about to be the talk of the ranch. I don't know what they're leading up to with all of this, okay? Learn all about the country living from the locals. So this sounds like the gameplay that they introduced with, um, heck, I think this got introduced with uh, Salvadorada, but it, it's been coming with uh, a lot of the packs where you can go and get, you know, information from talking to the locals. Um, so we'll see what that's all about. Life on a working ranch. Uh, Sully Sully partner. Okay. Welcome to Chestnut Ranch. That's the name of the world. Chestnut Ranch, a rustic world inspired by uh, the wide open skies of the iconic, iconic American West. This picturesque world is perfect for waking up in the morning to look out at a big open countryside from the ranch of your dreams, whether that be a traditional cabin or a modern farmhouse. Get the whole family involved. And by the whole family, we mean horses too. Sims, now, Sims will now welcome horses into their families and care for every aspect of their lives. Get ready for the work, y'all. <laughs> Each animal will provide a unique contribution to the ranch, even if it's just being adorable. So that's saying something. I don't know what it's saying, but it's saying something. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe uh, one is a worker horse. Maybe I don't know. Somehow they're going to contribute, but we'll have to see. Sims will work hard, play harder experiencing all aspects of a working ranch all aspects of a working ranch sims can experience mucking a horse bed never knew that word okay uh lending a hand on the ranch whatever that means and more from keeping all your animals happy and clean to harvesting prairie grass for the animal feeder, okay? Sims can delight in knowing that all of their hard work is worth it. When the work builds up, 
Sims can hire a ranch hand for help. So apparently it is going to build up. Get ready for it. They had to add some help for you, obviously. For your Sims that like the DIY, they can craft their own nectar by stomping a variety of fruits or potatoes. Uh-oh. I don't know, y'all. Potatoes or trash. Yeah, y'all always doing something. Always doing too much or not enough. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's see. The bottled nectar can be consumed in multiple servings. And it will have diff Oh, sookie sookie now. Hold on. It will have different effects. Now, I hope they didn't go... Um, juvenile on us and make the effects freaking for kindergartners i hope you gave us that they can pass out that give us back the sims three reactions okay please i know trash and potatoes what's that all about i hope it just simply means that maybe you let the fruit spoil maybe that's what they mean by trash i don't know but who the hell is going to make some wine made out of garbage? I don't know. But we're going to see. But more importantly, it will have different effects. Hello? <laughs> Please let my Sims pass out. I would have liked to have seen it in the trailer. I did not see anybody pass out drunk. Would love if you added a new trait as well. That they may be crave. <laughs> hint, hint crave the nectar would love that and maybe they get uh negative moodlets because they need some nectar would be nice uh sims can age it in nectar racks ooh, for more simoleons so it becomes more expensive if you have some nectar racks to age it in that's a new job that's a new entrepreneur job right there you can be uh, have your own winery. I hope you can just plant like a whole field of grapes. And now we can have our own nectar. Um, our home, our home, what is it called? It's a nectary, right? I don't know. Winery, winery. Thank you. But obviously we're not calling it that because of the Sims. That's why I got stuck on my tongue. I'm like, what? That don't sound right. Bond with animals. Sims can fill their ranch with animal friends to carve out a new life. Okay. Their horses include, including adorable fowls. I'm assuming that's fowls. It might be foals. If it was a G, it'd be goals. So I'm going to start saying foals, but I might be wrong. Let's see. Are part of a Sims household. And have a lot of special interactions with both Sims and other horses. Sims can shear the mini sheep. They can milk the mini goat. I wasn't expecting that. For simoleons. Hello, EA. Hello. Yes, a winery. Thank you, hon. What would I do? What would I do? Thank you for being here with me. <laughs> yes, I'm going to grow my own winery. Thank you. Thank you. Please and thank you. But look at this. We got a lot of entrepreneur um, skills we can do here. Because now you can um, shear your mini sheep and milk your mini goat for simoleons. So this is wonderful. You might not even have to have an, a, a conventional job in the game anymore. Eventually, inviting locals uh, to come and see how adorable they are. Eventually, y'all. Might take you some time to get your uh, little farm animals to be adorable looking. All right, so here we go with the thriving community. While living on the ranch has its moments of peace and solitude. I feel like I already read this. Sims can saddle up and ride their horse into town, y'all. I'm scared. Ride their horse into town. To check out the lively uh, social scene. Your Sims can meet friends at the bar. 
blow off steam at the dance hall, okay, or train at the equestrian park. Sims can even host or attend, uh-oh, you can host or attend a ranch gathering. So when people get a phone call and you get invited to attend a ranch gathering, I would like that with a cookout and dancing or oh crap what is this a ranch animal day where they can interact with the animals what is this ea so is this going to be like a uh, cottage living when they have the festivals so we might be getting a new one and you might get invited to it you know somebody inviting you to go Oh, that's nice. I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully it's better than the cottage living one because half of the stalls don't even get used. I think if you populated your town with enough animals, every stall should be used, but maybe leave one open for me. You know, I might want to participate. All right. So then we have create, breed, raise horses. This is a lot right here. We've heard and seen all your requests for horses. All right, EA. EA said tag. <laughs> tag. They clapping back. We've heard and seen all your requests for horses. And we are elated to announce that players can now customize hooved friends in Create a Sim. Get new horses by rescuing, breeding, and purchasing. Okay. You can choose from real world breeds. Okay. I'm not a horse person. I know that's what they're called. So uh, I know a stallion. And it probably stops right there. <laughs> All right. Change the horse's head shape. The mane, which is the hair on the head. I believe the tail feathers the mass body so the main body the coat length and more the very best part the fowls the little babies can be born on your ranch oh mg I mean you are probably still gonna get the little cloud you're not gonna get to see it actually be born That'd be cool if you could, is animals, is nature, is normal. But I'm pretty sure EA is not going to do that. <laughs> it will be an education. Well, <laughs> you may still need YouTube if you want to see it really be born. But uh, it is nice that you can uh, you can do it right there on your your property. So that that will feel I feel, will feel a little more connected. In that sense that's right players can have their horses nuzzle under the stars to make the perfect foul so that's how they get pregnant is your horse will have to go nuzzle under the stars I hope it's autonomous I mean I appreciate being able to tell him yo yo go go do that but I also hope that it can be random autonomous you know and then, hello, surprise, you got a little baby horse coming. Uh, let's see. A combination of both of his parents. This is good. This is what I will enjoy is just trying to see how many different combinations I can come up with. They, uh, and they even, they, wait a minute. And they may even unlock a unique trait. Okay. Okay, so not all of them get a unique trait, but some of them may unlock a unique trait. Okay, I would like to know what those traits are, but I don't know if they're going to tell us. The joy of breeding and raising fowls, foals, on your Sims ranch is one you won't want to miss. So give us your money, is what they just said. <laughs> Each horse has its own personality. Well, let's hope they do. I'm trying not to be mean and say the Sims don't, but we're working on it, right, EA? Let's see. Um, 
I mean, they did do a, a big, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. And the foul or foal will learn both from the family and training. Okay. Sims can explore by trotting. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Sims can explore by trotting their way down a long and winding trail. I like that. It better be long. It better be winding, EA. Um, or, hello, here, here we go, here we go. Or by going downtown to New Appaloosa. Hello, is that a throwback to The Sims 3? <laughs> Hold on, what was the world in The Sims 3? Appaloosa Plains, I believe. Appaloosa Plains. Was the name of the world in The Sims 3, if I'm not correct? Correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. I like that. The new Appaloosa. Hello. Um, right, but again, y'all, they letting them walk around. They letting them walk around. They better stay in this world. That's all I got to say. Ride around riders. Not very creative. What are we saying? Ride around riders. Glenn. Okay, this is a location. This is a location. So you can ride around a place called Riders Glen. Okay, so we got a new place downtown called New Appaloosa. And we got a new place called Riders Glen. Okay. That's two new places. And then it says the ranch's neighborhood. Okay. Yeah, so this is a ranch. Riders Glen is a ranch in the neighborhood, okay? And then the downtown area is called New Appaloosa. You got to break it down with the way EA does it. All right, be sure to check out Galloping Glutch, Gulch. Oh, Lord. This is another location. So that's three new locations. Galloping Gulch the national park neighborhood all right that's one neighborhood and then riders glen ranch neighborhood that's two neighborhoods plus you have the downtown i don't lost my mouse where did my mouse go plus you have the downtown okay here we go so that's three neighborhoods okay that's three neighborhoods national park okay all right which features plenty oh let me read this again be sure to check out galloping gulch the national park neighborhood which features plenty of scenic trails through the large rock formations as well as campfire spots and picnic areas. Oh, that sounds nice. Your sim may come across Dread Horse Caverns, where the adventurous can can enter and try their luck at exploring. Now, I wonder if that's a rabbit hole. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But it sounds like a rabbit hole to me. I'm getting the vibes that we had with the werewolf pack where you could go into the uh, underground water system, the pipes and stuff. And so that's what it feels like to me. Like it might be a rabbit hole, but you might come out from exploring with, with stuff that you found, which is what they did with the uh, werewolf pack. Um, yeah. I never found anything because I don't even play with the werewolf pack, but maybe I need to. Oh, I wondered across compatibility with the werewolf pack and horses. Is the horse going to buck you off if it knows you're a wolf? Because aren't, aren't horses afraid of wolves? I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens with that. Uh, let's see. Um... Horses have four skills. Here we go. So they got temperament, agility, jumping, and endurance. Endurance. Okay. 
Horses develop jumping skills by practicing on the horse jumps, naturally. Uh, they develop agility by practicing the horse barrels, on the horse barrels. And then all these skills apply to the competitions that take place at the equestrian center, which is a rabbit hole, I'm sure. Winning competitions results in, hello, some simoleons. And then rewards such as plaques for your walls. But you also can have metal signs you can display on your big ranch sign. Okay. I don't know if that was in the trailer. So uh, they culminate in the Ultimate Horse Championship. All right. And then last but not least, I think. I hope there's a lot of reading y'all. Okay, here we go. Sacred healing circle. I don't know what that's all about. Some voodoo up in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sacred healing circle. Indigenous, here we go. Indigenous people have always had a deep spiritual relationship with horses. This is nice. This is nice. Says Stacy Parshall Jensen. And you can click to see who this is. The Sims friend and sensitivity reader who collaborated on the horse ranch. Okay, the pack. There's a symbol of power. Oh, wait, they are a symbol of power. They provide healing and represent freedom and bravery to our indigenous culture. That's nice. That's very nice. I want to point out something. This this they provide healing. I want to tell you a story. It's gonna be very brief. My appendix was rupturing, and I went to ride horses with friends, neighbors. That I we did not have horses. We rode. We went out to an area that had horses. And I went with that family to go that day and we rode horses. I had no pain when I was on the horse. But every time I got off the horse, I was crippled over with pain and spent most of my time in the car, in the back seat, curled up in a ball in pain until they took me home. And then after a little while, my mom took me to the ER and turns out I immediately was rushed into surgery, had my appendix removed. And we later found out they told my mom that had my append had I not been brought in in about an hour, my appendix would have ruptured. And I promise you, when I was on the horse, I had no pain at all it was magical if you will so that's my little story <laughs> that's my little story so when it says they provide healing i don't know if that's the kind of healing they're talking about but i had no pain when i was on that horse all right let's move on let's see together with the sims team stacy worked to co-create food horse items and clothing that are represented in the horse ranch, reflecting elements of Native American culture. This is wonderful. I mean, obviously we'd have to click and see if Stacy Pashaw Jensen is also Native American, which one would hope and assume this person is. Um, I'll just leave it there. Uh, to celebrate the launch of this pack, the Sims team is making a donation to Sacred Healing Circle. Wonderful. A hundred percent. I already got a wonderful right there. A hundred percent indigenous funded and led organization working to support indigenous communities throughout or uh, through preserving traditional methodological you know i'm gonna get tongue twisted on this word Methodol methodologies there it is methodologies and practices including 
the Native American Horse Preservation and Research Program. This program helps to preserve the Native American horse as well as protects the traditional and historical knowledge surrounding the horse and indigenous people in the Americas. Thank you for this, this part right here. Thank you for, for that part as well. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Right, so I feel good buying the pack knowing that some of that money is going to be donated to this and I'll just leave it at that. This is cool. All right, so I think we have seen everything. I mean, this we already saw, if I'm not mistaken. Did I click it? I think that's everything. Yeah, that was just the... uh the little bit they showed the other day. All right, so how's everybody feel? Leave it in the comments how you feel, if you're happy about this pack, uh, if you're gonna buy this pack, if you're not gonna buy this pack, what you hope to see in the pack, because you know, everything isn't announced in the trailer. Sometimes there's, there's more. I like to see that there is, I can't click on this image for some reason, but I like to see that, um, yeah, that didn't help me. I like to see that they have the children riding the horses because I think in Sims 3 they could not. And I like that they included some toddler clothing on here, which is good. And I hope the children can interact with the horse as well. Maybe uh, if mom or dad is holding the baby and they walk up to the horse that the baby can pet the horse's head gently that would be nice but yeah um and i hope we get some new traits because i only saw that horses get traits they didn't talk about the the sim the human sims getting traits it would be nice to see if uh we're gonna get the old what do you call it the horse girl horse boy horse person trait I feel good about it. I'm definitely going to buy it. Love the honoring of our Native Americans. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. That was nice to see that. That was very nice. All right, I'm going to leave it here, guys. Um, obviously, when the more information comes out, maybe I'll come back and do another chit chat with you guys. But otherwise, uh, let me go ahead and put back the trailer for you. And um, and we'll end this here. I hope everybody has a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whichever time zone you are in. Bye-bye. If I can get back to my monitor for you guys.